Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Tactical Talks. This week we're going to be doing another EDC video, but I had a lot of you guys comment and question on my last off-duty EDC video. What do I carry when I'm on duty? So that's what we're going to get into. This is police officers on duty EDC video. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I was saying, this is going to be an EDC video of what I carry in my pockets. I know you guys, if you guys have seen my old video, you've seen everything I carry on my vest and on my belt. These are all the things that I didn't talk about because they're usually in my pockets. Now, I'm gonna start up here. We're gonna work our way across, then we'll come down this way, work our way this way. Some of them are gonna be very obvious, but I've had a lot of people hit me up asking, what do you carry when you're on duty? Um, aside, you know, from all your, the handcuffs and the primary gun and all that other kind of deal. So the very first thing is I carry a small knife on me. This is just a very basic little knife. Nothing special about it. It's got some lint on it from being in my pocket all the time. But if I need to cut something, this is more of a tool rather than it is a, a weapon. Like I said, if I got to cut string, rope, clothes, something like that, if I don't have my shears on me because it's in my medical bag, that's what I go to. Very next one, self-explanatory. I carry my wallet with me. It's got my credentials, my ID my peace officer license, all that other kind of stuff, money, everything that you would keep in your wallet. The next thing I do carry, I had a couple people hit me up and ask if I carry this, and if I don't, why not? I carry this K-Bar TDI. This one is for more of a self-defense role as far as my knives go. This usually is tucked in in my inner belt, and then my, over, my uh, actual duty belt sits on top of this, so I can grab this with my weekend. And like I said, if I need to do any kind of punching or cutting, I can go to this uh, knife right here for self-defense. The very next thing I have, I talked about this in a previous video on how many guns do cops carry and why, is I carry a little pocket holster just like this. And this is just uh, from Desanti. I've had this thing for a very long time, pocket holster. It's got like a grippy rubber material that'll kind of stick to my pockets. And this gun comes out on my left-hand side it sits in my left hand cargo pocket. Now there is a magazine with rounds in it, but there's not one in the chamber. So we're just gonna be safe about it. But like I said, if somebody's trying to steal or trying to get to my primary weapon, what I do is use my hand to hold it down and then I can reach into my left cargo pocket, pull this out. And if I have to take a few shots with this to eliminate the threat, that's what I do. So there's that. Very next thing, again, self-explanatory. I have my watch on me. So many times am I driving that I can't you know, pull my phone out, read text messages, phone calls, that kind of stuff. So I do have the Apple Watch. I have the Series 3, for those of you who care about that kind of stuff. Um, this thing works well by utilizing you know, the, the Siri, um, the Hey Siri, whatever on there. Hopefully it don't want to activate on my phone. But anyways, I do that on the watch as well when I'm driving. And I can talk and tell it, hey, text message so-and-so, and then say my message so I don't have to have my phone out and text while I'm driving and make any kind of a, you know, unsafe situation. Obviously, the very next thing after that is my phone. With my watch, I have the regular um, Bluetooth edition. I don't have the LTE. I didn't find it necessary to, to carry that, you know, have an LTE a cell phone signal on that as well as on my cell phone. So that's just the Wi-Fi Bluetooth uh, edition. I normally always have my phone in my pocket as well. So I have the 10S Max. So like I said, I carry that in my pocket with me all the time. That's why I didn't feel it necessary to have these with two different cell signals. But I do carry an iPhone. I've, I've done a video on top apps for cops. So those of you guys who are cops or looking to be cops, go ahead and check that video out. The next thing is a notepad. Um, you can never have enough notepads. I carry one on me. And then if I'm running low, I'll put another one in my pocket so that I can alternate them out. But you can never have enough notepads on you. This is kind of one of those things that I, we just write down everything, whether it's case numbers, dates, times, uh, victim, suspect, any kind of information that we have to put down always goes on a notepad. So I always do have that. Now, as a backup, I've done it before where I've had to take pictures of stuff. And if I don't have my camera readily available, I have used my cell phone, just kind of a quick reference guide to get back to it. But... I usually try not to do that. I just try to jot everything down into my notepad. The very next thing is just a pair of gloves. Now, these are just mechanics gloves. You can get these in any auto parts store. They're about 20 bucks. I carry these in my pocket 
So when I need to go hands on with somebody, this is outside of somebody who's bloody, stuff like that. These gloves are not necessarily going to protect against that. I recommend latex gloves and I carry latex gloves inside of uh, my magazine, or I'm, not my magazine, my radio holder at the bottom. And then, like I said, if I need latex gloves, I have them on me. If not, then these are kind of my go-to to put hands on somebody, stuff like that. If they're dirty, whatever, nothing that's going to be any kind, kind of a biohazard. So that's what I have these for. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say stuff about leather gloves are better or you're going to recommend all these other gloves. I've seen them. I've used a lot of them. These are just what I feel more most comfortable with. I have 511 gloves. I have Magpul gloves. I have a bunch of different styles of gloves. But something that I like to keep in mind and something that you should too is when you're using these gloves or whatever gloves that you're using, can you still manipulate your firearm, you know, your trigger, all that stuff? Is it not going to get in the way? How comfortable are you personally? Don't necessarily depend on, you know, what somebody else says is the best style of glove to have. So whatever works for you, that's what I highly recommend. For me personally, I just found that these mechanics gloves work best for me. I can manipulate my firearm um, just as well as I can without gloves. When it's cold outside, these are just an added layer. They're not, you know, warming gloves by any means, but anything kind of helps. And like I said, if I need to, I can put latex gloves on for any kind of biohazard. The next thing is I have a uh, handcuff key, the pin style handcuff key that I carry on me. And then I have a small handcuff key that I keep in my pocket just in case for whatever reason, if I'm running, wrestling, something happens where I lose this key, I have a backup key here. I have another backup key on my key, my set of like vehicle keys. And then one of my handcuff cases has a key in it as well. So I have four keys. These are the two that I carry on me in my pockets. Um, just so when we're handcuffing somebody going in and out of the jail, I have a way to take those handcuffs off. I don't have to run into any issues. The next thing I have is just a pin. Um, very simple. I use these zebra pins. There's really nothing special about them other than the fact that I found them on sale and I have a huge pack of them. So that's what I've been using for the longest time. And I also have these two other pins over here. Um, these are my throwaway pins. These are less expensive. These are just pins that my wife had. Um, I don't like people using my pin, especially for you go to you know scenes where a victim has been beat up, they're bloodied up or whatever. I will usually give them a pin like this and tell them you can have it so I don't end up getting back a bloody pin that I have to use you know, the rest of my shift until I can get a new pin. Now I can put hand sanitizer and all that stuff, but why even worry about it? I just carry throwaway pins so that I can just, you know what? That's yours, you can have it. The next thing is just this little light. This is just a little quick Smith & Wesson light. Um, it's really not that bright, but I carry my big light on my belt and I have a smaller light, stream light uh, stylus that I carry on my vest. This is just another backup for whatever crazy reason. If I run out of batteries on all my other ones or if I lose them or something happens, I just like having another light. Now I put my wedding ring on here only for the simple fact that I wanted to show you guys, if you have not seen these, and I'm sure you have because these are very popular now, um, these silicone or rubberized rings, this is what I use. Now, I know some of you are going to say, why are why we even wear a wedding ring to work? It's just my preference. Some people are going to tell you not to wear a wedding ring to work because you're letting your suspects or you know all these people that you're dealing with know more about you. They know that you're married. They're going to try to find you or your family or whatever the case is. Well, I live in a smaller town where... I bump into people that I've arrested all the time. I bumped into people that I've helped, that kind of deal. So it's really not that hard to find or figure out the fact that I'm married. But the reason I point this ring out is because it's rubberized. If I slam my hand in a car door or if I get into a fight or something happens, I don't have a metal, you know, gold, platinum, silver, whatever ring you have, ring to crush down on my hand and hurt my finger even more. If anything, this thing's going to rip or tear. It'll come right off, and uh, that's kind of the end of that. So, very easy, very simple. I know this video isn't too intricate as far as the things that I have, but I had a lot of requests of people asking, what do you have in your pockets? This is what I have on, in my pockets. This is my on-duty EDC. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys have any questions about the products that I showed you guys, things that I use specifically, comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thanks for watching my videos. I hope to see you guys next time. Subscribe if you're not. Comment down below. Like I said, hit that like button. And, I mean, just thanks for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.